Hey, this is Sifu Gus. I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, thank you guys so much for the love uh, of the show. Um, it's helping people. I love the comments that we've been getting. Uh, but before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button, subscribe, comment it if you haven't uh, done those things yet. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the fourth piece of the eight piece brocade and we're going to be talking about another episode of Are You Safe? And this one's about drawing boundaries. Drawing boundaries in your lifestyle is important. So even though this is kind of talking about it in a self-defense uh, scenario, think about this and how you deal with everyday people in life. Uh, it could be relationships or work, different things like that. So now we're going to go into this fourth piece of the eight piece brocade. Uh, this is good for the liver, the eyes, the heart and lungs. And I hope you guys are doing this as a daily practice uh, because it really, really does help. And I know it's helped me for years and I've recommended it to people and people have noticed the difference uh, in their overall health. So I hope you like this part, um, drawing the bow. And if you have, uh, let me know the comments. Let me know in the comments down uh, below. So now what we're doing now is we're adding the pieces uh, to what we did before. So now you're gonna have four pieces that you guys could practice along with me in the video. I hope you enjoy this part. I hope you enjoyed that. So now we're gonna go into the self-protection aspect of it uh, from the show, Are You Safe? Uh, the link will be down below for uh, the full episode, but this is just kind of give you a little glimpse into uh, learning how to draw boundaries. I like to communicate with people, so I like to have it easy enough that you guys can understand it and walk away with it and then actually be able to share it with someone else. So once you watch this small part, uh, check out the full episode. It's not very long, I think you'll enjoy it. What's up, warriors? This is Sifu Gus. Welcome to Are You Safe? Today, we're going to be talking about safety zones, things that keep you safe. So one of the things I want you to understand is a lack of boundaries invite a lack of respect. So we're going to be talking about that uh, um, a lot today. Uh, we're going to keep this short and sweet. The goal for me is to give you information that's digestible that you can then go use when you're done with this video. So let's dig in. So when we're talking about safety zones, I'm gonna use something that's really simple. There's a lot of different methods in which you can do this, but what we're gonna be talking about is like the stoplight, right? We're gonna start about the colors of red, yellow, and green. And then what it'll do is it'll give you a measure of how far you allow either a person or uh, an assailant or someone who's just creepy to get close to you. So, and what happens if they're close to you and what do you do at that point in time? So the first color is green. Green is a distance where they can't touch you, you can't touch them. If you had to run out of a building or something like that, you can. You need to know when a person's in a green zone. That's really, really, really important because it tells you what you're going to need to do at that moment. Um, and doing nothing, you can get away with that in the green zone. So think about it. The green zone is the first zone we're talking about. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the yellow zone. 
The yellow zone is they've gotten close enough and if they launch at you, they can touch you or grab you or do whatever they're gonna do. So you need to start preparing your plan. You need to notice them first that they're really close. They can't, if they extend their arm, they can't touch you, but they're close enough that if they launch their bodies at you, that they can then get into your personal space. So that's the yellow zone, notice that. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the red zone. Okay, the red zone is the danger zone. If someone that you feel uncomfortable with has gotten that close, something needs to take place. Either you need to move them or you need to move yourself. But what you cannot do is shy away. And that's really important to understand that. So we're talking about the red zone. He did that on purpose. That's okay. All right, there's a car that just went by. Don't worry about that. He saw us filming. It's all good. Um, so remember the red zone. The red zone is a very important zone and that's your danger zone. So that's when a person's gotten too close. If you need to put your hands up, whatever you need to do, we're gonna actually do other videos on how to put your hand up, how to create a fence and different things like that. But remember, we talked about green, yellow, and the red zones. Those are very important to your safety and your self-protection. Ah, here hanging out. You know, we had some weather here in California. You know, we had the stuff fall from the sky. It's called rain, I think it's called. We had it rain, it's nice and wet. Uh, it's really nice, it's nice. I got my jacket on. Looking forward to wearing more of my jackets. I hope we get some more rain this season. Anyway, um, so it's interesting because a lot of people really don't understand how huge Kung Fu is. People will say, well, Kung Fu is not for self-protection. Uh, it's for performance and different things like that. But Kung Fu is huge. Um, Kung Fu is really, I mean, go beyond the definition, but it really is a lifestyle. Um, there's healing in it, there's uh, mental health uh, um, help in it, there's physical health in it. You know, when you have uh, uh, mental issues or physical issues or emotional issues or spiritual issues, the training is what allows you to almost self-correct. I know it sounds crazy. But, you know, we talk about uh, training partners and different things like that. Knowing how to behave with someone where you could actually possibly harm them really teaches you how to manage being gentle. So I hope that the things that we're sharing here with you, and there's so much more coming down the pipeline, um, I hope this will help in any way. Oh yeah, and one of the things that always remember, be compassionate, be kind, be loving. You know, somebody had asked me about self-protection. I go, we always try to talk ourselves out of fighting. Always, you know, but when we have to protect ourselves or our loved ones, we have to do what we have to do. But overall, the village concept is about love and learning how to grow. And when things are giving good to me, they give back. Because you know the saying, you get what you give in this life. <laughs>